Hey friends, welcome back to a new Club Wix park tour. Yes, we are looking through a new park today. It is one of the smaller ones, so it will not be such a big or long uh, park tour, but I think we are in for a bit of a treat here today. This is a mini adventure park made by Pillsbury, and you guys will see some cinematics here in the background while I read you the little description he has. Welcome to the jungle oasis. Suspense and adventure awaits the eager traveler who wants to explore the tropical jungles of South America. Inside you'll find a coaster, a flat ride and a restaurant with a treetop bar all themed within a 30 times 30 space. All right, dope stuff. So it's not like a lot as you guys can hear, but it's still nice to kind of like get these smaller parks in in the mix sometimes because uh, there are really some hidden gems in these small mini parks so it's a short one today but uh, let's get right into it guys he says he's been working on this for two months and he is all alone um i did download a lot of theme maker toolkit for this little mini park and um, but um yeah we'll get to that point let's check out pillsbury's jungle oasis here we go, guys. I'm already liking this little small entrance we got going on here. It, it doesn't give you a lot, right? But let's check out what we got here. Oh, look at this vibe here, huh? Damn. Look at those buildings over there, too. This looks... This looks really good. Looks really good, guys. So, um, so let's check out and see what the, this... Pillsbury has made for us. We, you already seen a few uh, builds from Pillsbury before on the channel. There is a few parks he's been doing collabs with, but this is uh, all him. So it's nice to see what um, what these people are capable of doing, uh, also in a single project. And I do like that it's a very small project, because uh, uh, therefore you will actually finish it alone. But sometimes it's very difficult. Yeah, talking uh, talking with experience here. Yes. So he says that he would like to uh, have my face without the POV. So that's what we're going to be doing. And we're also going to check it out at day and night, guys. Let's take a look here. This music here, though. Ooh. I love that building, man. Oops. Let's go! Arriba! No? Okay. Sorry. We got some chimpkins. I really like this. I like this. Uh, this must be Theme Mega Toolkit pieces because it looks very nice. I love that piece. These buildings here, this facade here is awesome. I love that. Oh, that's the exit. Okay, so that's the, uh, that's the balloon ride. Okay, we have a little lake here. Man, this shot is everything, dude. Wow. I love this right here. This is absolutely amazing. Like how he used the ropes to kind of like hold on the shutters. Oh, man. Beautiful. Love that extra detailing. Oh, what is this? Explorer Outpost 2. Ah. So there's a restaurant, a flat ride, and a coaster in here. Let's, uh, let's check out what he did uh, on the queues as well. Let's, uh, let's see, because um, we might not ride the flat ride, but uh, the queues sometimes are actually super well themed, right? So um, so that's what we will be doing. Love all the clutter. I tried to open up the park, but uh, I couldn't really put it on a limit. Uh, so people just ran. So we'll just open it later on. So we'll get some atmosphere also. I like this. So this is like a little transitioning into like a little mountain and then you get to um, to the little flat right here. I like that. The music too. It's nice. Very cool. I love the like the facades on this side here too, right? It gives a very nice backdrop. And especially for these guys too. You're a traveler, right? You're in the jungle. So this fits perfect. I love it. Really, really like this. 
it's not so much detail but these buildings are very simple like uh, like very generic in a way because usually what they would have is like maybe like some mud like some plaster some clay like some foundations of that maybe some cracks in the wall but that's it though they really just had a window but yeah this is really cool i like this like a subtle a solid subtle detailing around the whole right here as well which is really cool also check it a day as i said don't you worry guys but yeah that's awesome that's really really cool looking all right well um that's the flat right i like that he made it like surrounded by forest or jungle and stuff it's really cool love this little exit path here little uh, fake door bin man i love this already dude it's so immersive isn't it it's really immersive walking around this little spot here. Man. He did a good job on that. And we didn't even check out all this over here. So I assuming we have to cross the bridge. Uh, yep. This coaster. I, the coaster looks nice, dude. I'm excited to ride that. That's what she said. Okay. Moving on. Love this waterfall here. Very nicely. Very nice. Love it. Explorers Express. Look at this, guys. This is awesome. This park runs beautifully, too. Like, absolutely beautiful. Ah, oh, the music. Oh, man. Look at the bamboo sticks. Such a beautiful building. We'll wait to go on it for a bit. I just want to take a peek from this side. Look at that custom uh, balloon there. Huh? Nice. So there were a treetop restaurant. I wonder if that's up there. Has to be up there. That shot here, dude. Pills, this building is so fucking gorgeous, man. Like, wow. It's so nice. really really sick dude i just love the architecture of all of this like this entire style there's so much going on beautiful beautifully done man beautifully done all right so what else do we got we got some more stuff here the building kind of continues i wonder if this is the exit i don't want to go through here if this is the exit but i guess we can only figure it out explorer outpost 2 oh man look how he did that Wow. The music in here too? I love it. Hey, this is Mr. Grimlock. Hello, sir. Oh, so that's where you go up. That is so nice. Custom pictures. Look at the detailing in here, friends. That is epic. I love it. It really feels like yeah, a restaurant, like a like an adventure restaurant. That is so dope. I love it. Can we take this with Tetchit Cam? We can. Sick, dude. Up. Oh, let's go. Yep, we're up here. Awesome. We got a little uh, bar up here. The treetop restaurant. Yes, has to be this one. Wow, that's really epic. I love that. Look at the cool shot you get with the coaster on the side here. Uh, this shot from up here too like it's really immersive isn't it it's really immersive the music i mean of course a few people walking around would be nice but i don't want to overcrowd it as well so we, we actually we want to see things right that's why i'm saying we're waiting to do that to the end i love the hanging lanterns too man like these guys too in the tree that is so clever i love it Wow, that's so neat, man. I love how you also use, like, planks that actually somewhat fits the tree style. I love that. That is so freaking cool. But this is amazing, though. Like, wow. So immersive. So, so, such coolness. Is there theming in here? Oh, that's the, uh, yeah. Just all of it, man. Also, Dizzy has hanging up here, right? Like... 
There's so much detailing going on in here. And he freaking nailed it. Like, when you just walk around in here, you would just feel like you're in a jungle, right? Which is so fucking cool. And then you get in here, and then it's definitely like, okay, yeah, we're definitely in a jungle. And I love it. It kind of reminds me of, like, as the music goes by, like, the 2030s vibe. I mean, still, you'll still see restaurants that looks like this today, even. But, like, with the music, it definitely fits well. I love it. Look at all the animals. That's so cool. Uh, that's a big boy. Man. Look at the, the tree holders here too. Sick. Really, really cool. And there's a little small bridge over here. Alright, I guess it's time. Guys. I guess it's time we do this. What is here? That must be the exit. Yeah, that must be the, that must be the exit, right? Wait, is this the toilets in here? Oh, my lanta, dude. Wow, I thought it was just... That's cool, how he even did realistic uh, toilets here. Wow, oh, we have a flashy, flashy light here. Cool. All right. Nighttime queue. Let's go. Hello. Oh, sick. Oh my god, that's amazing. Love that, dude. Ah. Oh. Look at all the clutter, guys. Look at the guy on the wall there. That's an amazing watch uh, clock. I'm happy I got that now. Ooh, radio. Or like telephone radio walkie-talkie vibe machinery here. These are custom. Wow. Herr van der Keller, Herr van der Keller. Het is Erik van Dam. We zijn bij paal 8. Is that Max? Oh, that's cool how he made like a like a static interference when you hear another language. That's so dope. I love this, dude. I love the vibe in here, man. Oh, look at these two. I'm so, I'm so happy now when I actually get to see these D-Mega Toolkit pieces that I just don't know existed. That you guys have downloaded and so I have them now. Thank you. I appreciate that. Just gonna make everything worse for me, but it's fine. I love new... I love more pieces. It's great. Oh, man. Look at the shot from the queue here. I love how it interacts like this, man. Like a little balcony vibe. Sick. Ooh. All right. Here we go. Here we go. We'll do nighttime and a day ride on this. We'll do. We'll walk it uh, day and night. The queue. Why not? It's a small park. Might as well get all of it. I love this queue here too, man. All the chains. Kind of forces you to walk all the way around, so you get like this beautiful shot. Look at that. God damn, dude. I love this. The music just makes everything, doesn't it? Got a little extra storage room here. With all the artifacts and all the stuff that's been... F people been finding. Oh, I love this too. Man, bro, this is really dope, dude. You put so much detail into this small little park here. All by yourself. Amazing. Wow, look at this build. This build is kind of hidden away, I guess, because it's like the Explorer outpost, right? Man, this queue is perfect, dude. Look at all the woodwork here. Ah, the music. I don't know why it doesn't run wow 
So it takes you all the way back here, walking in the jungle kind of vibe. Man! Oh, we need to check that thing there too. This is so cool, man. Because you outdid yourself here on this specific like solo project, man. Like, I never doubted it. I never doubted you had fucking skills, bro. But this is like... Like, I've seen your stuff already before, like in the duo contest and bonanzas. But it's, as I said in the beginning, it's very nice to see single projects in this sort of format where it's a very small part, but you put time and effort and really like a lot of love and detailing into the project right which makes it so much cooler like just this too with like the open windows right and all the the boxes and it just feels so nice dude i'm loving it all right it's time to take it's time to do the ride guys i love this thing here too super cool yeah it's super cool all right we got some bags over there <laughs> awesome two coasters waiting for us oh what's over there we should definitely check all these things over here. Can we check? Uh, emotional damage. We can uh, we can check out uh, what happened over here on this side. Oops. Here we go. All right. Whoa, it's there. Oh. I love how he did that. Oh, man. That's so neat. We'll check it out a day. So we get to see a little bit more. Oh, we have one person stuck on the coaster. <laughs> That's why it's not running. Oh, boy. Well, Explorer Outpost Express, guys. Let's uh, let's see the stats here. Oh, where are they? Wow. I'm, I'm so good at this. Results. There you go. So it's 755 meters. So that's pretty long, actually. 92 kilometers max speed. 50 kilometers average. And the biggest drop is 22 meters. I mean, G forces looks pretty good. Six is pretty high, but in this game, it's all right. Total airtime? No, oh, that's cool. All right. Well, here we go. Test. Let's just close it, I guess, like this, and then uh, enjoy the ride, guys. We'll take a seat and a front. <laughs> this music yeah it's probably a track ride Whoa. oh track ride I'm in I'm in the front seat bomber view god damn oh I love the small uh, jungle uh, like the cave transitionings oh spiders Alright, sea view. Front bomber. Alright. Let's try it out, guys. Yeah, it's definitely meant for a uh, front bomber ride. So like you get the smoothness way better. You don't get all the jitter. <laughs> I like the song though. <laughs> I like the colors of the ride too. It'll be good in nighttime as well. Or daytime. Boom. Sweet! That was awesome. Let's uh, let's take it out at day, shall we? Boom. Feel like we get to see a little bit more in day as well. So here we go. Yeah, very lush. 
I like that we reached the the treetop. Very smooth, very smooth ride. It has some, some awesome elements on this short layout. It takes you through a few nice caves. Look at this, right? There's spiders. There's some very cool transitioning happening. Like you go into the cave, you get like these ivies and vines and roots and stuff along the terrain. And it's really cool like that. I like that. Uh, I was not super fan of Sea View, but let's just do it for the audience, right? So you guys get them a little bit of both here. Maybe try seat two. There we go. Definitely, definitely two different vibes at night and day, obviously. But it's it's also how you how you get to experience it. Like it's so immersive and so subtle and awesome to walk around in in, in nighttime. I don't like a little bit of an eerie vibe too because it's a jungle. It's, it's it's a little bit spooky. And then at daytime you get like this like fresh breath of air, you know? And I love that. You get like this super jungle vibe. And as you say, it's the jungle oasis. It definitely feels like that. Yeah, I am I'm a I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of uh, of this ride. Super, super cool pills. Super, super cool, man. I, uh, I'm, I'm a fan, as I said. And then uh, let's just check out here these little small uh, sections we got where we had some nighttime before. So just like their bong beds. I love it that he used the canopies for that. It really, really does it well. Then uh, we'll take our, uh, we'll take our things and then we'll leave. Leaf at, at daytime now. It's great. Going out here. Q goes down. Yeah, look at that daytime too, guys. Man. It's so awesome. Before I go in Tidget Cam, I kind of want to check out the tower up here. Just want to see if he actually did. He, he freaking did, man. Yes. Awesome. You always like in, in most games like like horror games or something where you have to like uh, like it's in a forest or jungle you always have this tower you have to get to it's just a common thing gotta have that in here too and we even have this guy dope really really cool oh so it's like you can look at it from everywhere that's awesome yeah I really really love this man like the vibe you created in this little mini park here is phenomenal dude. This area here too, the little water water area here, the little lake area, beautiful waterfall, the bridge here with the ropes, like I love it. I think it is really really dope, dude. As I say, I am uh, I really love the vibe in here. That is definitely something you did hundred percent correct. Like just just this area here, like this building specifically, I love this vibe. I really love it. There's something about it. Like how all the ropes are like going in and out of the building and like the shutters are holding it separate uh, differently and There's a lot of detailing going on in this let's say and if you just stand here you it does feel like you're like in the middle of a jungle, right? I love it. Let's just check this out at day 2 just so we get a little bit of a different vibe. Get to see a little bit more things here. Yeah, this is so cool, man. I love the detailing and you know like I'm a I'm a big fan of, of, of good detailing and you did that. And I love is this an entire um an entire build by itself? A bank teller? Holy shit, dude. That's amazing. I also love the music you put in. It is great. It's so great. But yeah, I think uh, I think we're kind of like somewhat done um, 
with this small, small mini party, guys. Like, there, it's... Oh, look at that shot with the coaster coming there. Oh, yes. Wow. Some great shots you get from the coaster. Let me, uh, just in any case, I know we're going to get tons of people in here now. But uh, let's just, let's just let them roam a bit. Let's see how everyone, everyone doing it here. Look at this shot here, too, where you just have the coaster coming there. That is gorgeous, man. But as I say, like, I think of, of, of Mini Park, you definitely nailed the vibe. And it's 30 times 30, right? It is, it is like the smallest, like one of the smallest parks I've seen, but it works. Look at that. Look at that. It's like this little square here that he literally filled in a coaster, a super immersive area. Like freaking hell, this was so freaking immersive. I love that. The music really adds a lot to it as well, which is just top notch. And then just this shot here in daytime too, where you get to see the outpost tower, ranger tower. Like you have the coaster in the background coming up from here and there, right? The restaurant itself was so cool, dude. Like even at, at day two. Like it's absolutely amazing. I'm a big fan of this restaurant here, dude. And even the treetop here where you can sit. I would definitely sit here, right here where I could see the coaster go by. Drink my coffee or like get a good burger or something. Oh, these are cool too. Like I really love how you try to make it feel like a jungle. Like jungle aces. Oh, uh, look at the people we got coming in now. Got one rocking, walking there. Super cool. That's great, man. Let's uh, let's check this out here. In uh, look how he kind of like try to make it a balloon. That's that's so cool. All right. Well, let's get in here through the queue again, and then we got this guy here too, which has this awesome awesome background, right? Like look at the shot here. You really get to see a lot I mean yeah I really really like this uh, I really really like these pills and I hope a lot of people uh, will uh, go down click the link give it a, uh, some love maybe you can check it out for yourself there's a lot of inspiration to get in here uh, like just look how they walk on this freaking it's so freaking clean and polished dude like I absolutely love it I do like nighttime the most, though. I feel like that's where we get the most immersive uh, kind of vibe from it, right? And uh, so, yeah. I am... I'm a big fan. Big, big fan. I'm looking forward to see uh, whatever you're working on next. I know you're working on uh, your own kind of like Disney-esque uh, sort of uh, mega park. I don't know if it's going to be a mega park. I just know you're building on it. And I am very, very excited to see how you are going to do that. Because if this is like, I could totally see like this be like an adventure island uh, kind of vibe. Um, there's so much uh, potential in this. I would have loved it to be like just a tad bigger. Maybe a dock ride in here. Um, maybe even a smaller coaster. I don't know. I, can, I just see so much potential. Uh, and I would love to have explored a lot more with this sort of style and vibe. Um, but guys, let me know down below what you think. And remember to uh, subscribe if you like the content and if you like these park tours. Because there will be plenty of these coming up next year. Also within Zoo. So uh, you guys will not be bored. I have tons of stuff coming up for you next year. And as you can see, the crowd is uh, slowly starting to come in here. We are It's getting cramped packed in here. It's great though. We love it. We love to see some atmosphere. But, uh, but yeah guys, I think, uh, I think that was pretty much it. My last words here are, Pills, keep uh, keep going, doing what you're doing. I am absolutely a big fan of this. I think this is, personally, just this building the station is one of the, the coolest things I've like I've seen. It fits so well in here. You did it 100% justice. So, uh, so yeah, guys, let us know down below what you think. And I will be back uh, next time with a new park for you guys to uh, explore with me. See you around, guys. Bye-bye.